Hello everybody, welcome back. We just couldn't stay away from our financial statements overview. Uh, this is part two. If you missed the balance sheet st uh, overview, please go back and take a look. Uh, I think it'll be worth your time. But now, today, we're going to dig into uh, the budget to actuals. So, when we talk budget to actuals, all we're talking about is what did we, what were our best guesstimates of how this year, this month, this quarter would play out financially, and how close are we? What's the budget variance? So, again, we're looking at these financials for Happy Go Lucky Co op. Um, Going to take a closer look at a few of these items, um, and as always, happy to look over your individual statements at any time with you. So you'll see um, here I've noted again, accrual basis, and if you missed that part of the balance sheet, I recommend going back, um, digging into that a bit. And then the red arrow is pointing to the time period that we're looking at, right? It's always important to know what time period are we looking at. So here, you can see we're looking at December 2017, blast from the past. So we've got four columns here. We see December 2017 um, in that first column. That's our actuals for December, right? And then right next to that, it just says budget. That's our budgeted amount for December. So we are comparing those two numbers to each other. What did we actually do versus what did we budget to do? And then the third column there, it says money over budget, dollar sign over budget. Um, that's going to tell us how far off were we, um, how in, num in money, in dollars and cents, right? And then the final column there, percent of budget, is actually going to be the most illustrative, I think, in this regard, because that's telling us, okay, you know, we know how much money over budget or under budget we were, but what percent of the budget did we actually do, right? So individual dollars and cents is great, but how close were we in our guesstimate is gonna maybe be a better indicator of what we need to look at moving forward. So again, you can see here, we've just I've just taken out this chunk of income uh, to take a closer look at lot rent income, members and non-members, looks like this co-op might be charging a different amount per. Um, and that's why they've, they've broken that out like that. Uh, home rental income, maybe they have a stick built home they rent out. Um, but again, looking, looking pretty standard here. Uh, the only thing is they have a little bit of a low late fee income and I can see that by looking at the percent of budget column and seeing that we only brought in 80% of what we anticipated. But then I see that's only $15. Um, and again, like we mentioned before, we're gonna wanna take a, a look at our accounts receivable to get a better sense of how much lot we actually took in. But it looks like we're doing okay in the Department of Income. So let's sidle over here to expenses. So again, keep in mind those same headings, I apologize they're not on these columns, but the same headings apply. Um, looking down, and so we're gonna take a look here at this percent column, this percent over budget. That tells me to flag maybe this licenses, uh, permits, and local fees column. We really uh, overspent that this month. Uh, wonder why? That would be a good question to ask my property manager. And then administrative expenses. Wow, we're pretty far over on that as well. So um, what's just what happened there is, is the question that I would ask my property manager. Um, but then you can see total administrative expenses. We're actually doing okay. We're under budget for the month, so maybe it all sort of came out in the wash there. Still worth asking the question, though. Uh, same for maintenance and repairs, pretty above and beyond, but the overall budget here um, has evened out all right. Again, we're not being accusatory. We're just asking the question. And our next section here is just a continuation of the expenses. So every month you have these insurance, real estate taxes that you escrow, and then your reserve contributions. So I would be asking my property manager, oh, why didn't we uh, budget, why didn't we put any money into our reserve this month? Um, what happened there? Why is that not booked? Right, because normally we do the same amount every month like clockwork. Um, and then I would also ask, it looks like we have a, a tractor um, that we 
bought that we have a financing agreement on, pay four oh nine a month, why isn't that booked this month? And maybe the answer is simply something like, oh, we pay that quarterly. So you'll see a, a more of a lump sum, you know, $1,500 quarterly. Um, and, and it all sort of comes out at the end annually. But just asking these questions, it never hurts to get more information. And you can see down here this net income number um, at the bottom tells us that Happy Go Lucky is doing pretty all right, right? They're, they're pretty below on expenses and they're above um, a little bit on income. So they're doing all right. And then Another thing you can see is this looks exactly the same, right? Except it tells us by looking at the top that we're looking at October through December 2017. So October, November, December is a quarter, right? So this is our quarterly budget to actual uh, for the final quarter of the year. And this is just gonna give us a, a bigger picture of how close are we to our budget? Um, you know, how, if there's anything we need to be worried about that might seem like more of a trend it might be more likely to show itself here in this quarterly report um, so that is your budget to actual statements again happy to take a look closer look at yours with you uh, please feel free to reach out to me thank you so much for your time and have a good day